meditation the first question that comes in our mind why should we meditate our mind is in the state of flux there is a constant conflict wanting not wanting doing not doing as long as the struggle is there there is a waste of energy and obviously when the struggle is not there it's a total different experience the ease of the mind is a totally new experience for our mind body and soul there's so much noise in the outer world so we don't get to hear the noise from the inner world we want to connect to our soul to the deepest level where the soul lives where the magic lies we want to know that what is me telling myself from the core of my heart for guidance soul is pure it's sucha soul can never be tired dirty unhealthy unhappy or negative soul has a pure energy soul has no age no size shape or color it's just a pure universal energy energy never dies it's always transform we want to connect to our level of the soul to get the guidance from the universe from the soul from sucha it's all pure what is meditation meditation is nothing but if you put meaning to it it can be everything for you meditation happens because we don't do meditation it's a non doing state of the mind it is super hard and challenging to not to do with such occupied mind thoughtful thoughtless state of the mind is super challenging to create so we allow ourselves to meditate so basically we allow meditation to happen just the way we allow ourselves to sleep shower eat work we allow ourselves to meditate we put the meaning to everything in our lives one good day you are free you you enjoy the rain you say wow what a good rain and it's a good weather the other day when you're busy you're ah oh, i have so much work to finish and it's raining i hate it i can't take it and you're upset for the same rain so we basically put meaning to everything in our lives we can put different meaning to different meditation humans are always in search of the soul the self we are putting different meaning to different things objects people rituals saints meditation spirituality and work we can put different meaning to different type of meditation and it's all cool and it's all good there are many many ways to meditate whatever works for you is the best for you meditation is not the way to quiet the mind is it is the way to enter the quiet space of the mind which is already there buried under our 60000 thoughts we think every single day and it goes up to 60 70 80 and 90000 when we are busy and then you can imagine the boggling mind wasting of energy consuming too much energy in the mind and the body feels tired dull aches and pains and allergies and disease and basically we suffer it doesn't matter if your thoughts are positive or negative constructive it's just too many thoughts and too much for mind to handle so we sit in meditative state quietly observe without any reaction without any demand or without any calculation in our mind and it's a non doing state 
simple, utterly relaxed. The next question is, what is happening in meditation? That is actually your own experience, nobody knows. But people usually misunderstand meditation with prayers. So, what there are two different things. In prayers, when you are praying, you are actually demanding, asking, or sharing, whining at times, or expecting. But when we are sitting in meditation, we are simply surrendering and accepting just the way it is. Wherever you are in your life, in the moment, simply surrender. So we are learning the importance of neutralization. So there is no demand, no expectation, no anger, no frustration, nothing. Every emotion, every feeling is like shh, quiet. Shut the chatterbox of the mind to feel good and accept the way we are. So that's the state of meditation. When the mind comes to stand still, the time comes to stand still and our biological clock stops which is really running too fast nowadays in other words when you're praying you're talking to the universe you're talking to God but when you are meditating you're just sitting and waiting the universe will talk to you your God will talk to you your soul will guide you and it's all there for you. What are the tools for meditation? Uh, there are many tools. You can use uh, your mantra, your private mantra, any sentence to frame your mind for meditation. For me, I use my two sentences. Number one is drop the importance. When you drop the importance of everything, everyone, including yourself, nothing actually matters. So it's not important for the meditative state, drop the importance of everything around you. Number two, loosen the grip. We are habitually clinging to things in our lives and this is the major hindrance to meditation. So you just need to let go of everything, every emotion, every feeling which you're going through right away in your life. And we can use breath technique. Breath is uh, observing breath and counting breath and different breath techniques because the breath is reflecting in the moment. It's never in past, never in future. It's always right here, right now. We can use sounds, sound meditation, listening to sound or creating your sound through mantra. Sound is a very powerful uh, technique because sound is a leader it leads you right away in the moment we can also use um, uh, thought uh, um, observation uh, when you're sitting in your meditation and you start to observe your thoughts one by one you will find a space between two thoughts and that space is the key the space is where you want to be at during meditation so you can think one thought coming from past and mind is switching to the future and then going back to the past thought and there is a space. You start to create space and you enter in the space of the mind. It is a very powerful technique but we need a lot of practice to create that state of the mind. We can also use Chapa uh, which is uh, Mala Chapa and we can use um, uh, Drishti uh, Tratika like gazing, candle gazing framing our mind. The whole point is to bring our mind into one point awareness. So these are the tools and there are many many tools. There are many many ways to meditate in your life. Another common question about meditation is how to begin meditation. So for beginners, organizing your life is the beginning of meditation. From the time the humans are born, they are involved in activity and mind without the activity is in the state of meditation which is quite challenging for everyone. It's something new to us. So 
we develop it with time and passion and creating the habit of meditation on daily basis really helps. Our mind is full of samskara, meaning habit, patterns, mental and physical uh, addiction which people suffer all their lives. Yoga offers us to know, observe, edit and change. So begin with creating habit. It's very simple just do same thing every day at the same place at the same time will create habit in your mind because our subconscious mind is a habit mind. It learns things and then you don't have to remind it. It happens automatically. The conscious mind we use 5% and 95% we use our subconscious mind. Not every day we have to tell ourselves how to walk and brush our teeth. It's in our conscious mind. So make a good habit um, by practicing meditation every day and you will start to feel the results very soon and calmer state of the mind and beautiful life ahead. I wish you a happy meditation and soon we'll be sitting together and meditating and find our best way to meditate and cool ourselves down with meditation. Thank you yogis. Namaste.